This case has shined a brighter light on the release of body camera video, and today law enforcement agencies and district attorneys join the chorus of other groups backing changes to the state's body camera law. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight with a closer look at why these changes are happening now and what the concerns still are. Michael. And people I've talked to across the political spectrum about this say this is progress, but the changes would be limited, and it wouldn't mean that the public sees this video any sooner than we do now. Release the tape! Release the tape! A call for greater transparency in Elizabeth City could have impacts across North Carolina. A bipartisan deal to change the state's laws on releasing police body camera and dash camera video is moving forward in the General Assembly. We all agree that there needs to be a, a method by which the families can have access to this. A bill in the Senate would change the law so that family members or another representative of someone killed or injured would be able to see these videos within five business days. Law enforcement agencies could get a judge to block access or allow for video to be redacted if there's a compelling reason, such as someone's safety being at risk. News organizations and the public in general would still have to get a judge's permission to release video so people can actually watch it. There's still no timeline for when that would happen, if at all. With the excessive force, there must be a count Accountability. But we also recognize, all of us, we recognize you must, comprom must not compromise the investigation. Family members who get to see the videos would have to sign an agreement under penalty of perjury, saying that what they see is confidential unless they're otherwise allowed to talk about it. They could also face a misdemeanor charge for recording a video or trying to do that themselves. That is the most problematic part of the change. Daniel Bowes at the ACLU of North Carolina says the agreement is a sign of progress, but these videos should be presumed to be public records. In a very um, limited way, it does respond um, to the needs of the family, uh, but it certainly doesn't go uh, far enough in terms of changing access. We're expecting a vote on this in the Senate this week. Republicans who I talked to in the House who've been working on criminal justice reform issues did not explicitly say they support these changes, but they did acknowledge the support that's there from law enforcement for them, and so they look forward to taking up this issue. Ivan Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.